Cody, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Not much, man. How you doing? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil 6. Yeah, I played uh, as much as I could last night, but then I had to hit the hay. It was um, I can't believe this. It was fun, man. I, I did the first two chapters of Jake. Now I'm running through Leon 1. Were you enjoying Jake? I, I've, I've done Leon so far. I really enjoy him. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm happy with the game. The, like I said, there are things to complain about. Yeah. And, and I think a big part of it is the way they utilize, like, kind of cutscene, quick time event y stuff. Whoa. Yeah, I don't. I, I feel like when I played it, uh, it wasn't as bad as, like, people said. And I feel like just people got the mentality now that they think that this is, like, op like almost like as bad as, like, Operation Raccoon City. Yeah. But really, it's not. It's not. And I don't know what they were expecting. I mean, it's. It's kind of a something new, something different take on what Resident Evil 4 and 5 did, and I think that's demonstrated well here. Ow, yeah. I got hit with a pipe. <laughs> so, uh, there's actually been a recent rumor uh, coming out uh, of Capcom uh, about a Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh, I would fucking love that. I've heard that rumor for years, but man, I would love that so much. Yeah, Resident Evil 2 is my favorite game of all time. Yeah? I love that game so much. But, like, it would depend. If it's, like, in the style of the original Resident Evil remake, then I am down 100%. That'd be cool. But but, but wouldn't, you, wouldn't you be accepting of anything that they choose to do? Yeah, because I, I would... But I'd you'd rather to have... Play. You'd rather have something done in the style of the original Resident Evil remake. Yeah, but, yeah. I would, but even if it was, like, kind of like 6 or, or 5 or whatever they decide to do, if they do do it, then I, I, I'd still love to just do it just to go through the story again, but like in a whole new perspective. Yeah. I, uh... I could definitely use a Resident Evil 2 remake. I would enjoy that thoroughly. Because yeah. it's kind of hard to look at those old PlayStation graphics, man. It just is. Yeah, well... I don't know. Uh, I th sometimes, I, I mean, like, for some reason, Resident Evil, like, somehow never... Or, for me, never kind of gets that old feeling, like, where it's like, oh, this looks bad. Really? Me. Yeah, uh, maybe it's because the pre-rendered backgrounds aren't as, like, jagged. Yeah. Kind of still. It, they're not as bad as, like, Final Fantasy VII, unfortunately, is pretty tough on the eyes. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. You know what? And I think it works well on a small screen, like the Resident Evil Deadly Silence that came out for the DS back in the day. That was oh, yeah. just a port of the original. That was great, man. And, and I didn't feel like those graphics looked... You know, horrible. Yeah. You know, they're they're crispened and put on a smaller screen, so that was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh oh, survivors. Jake, what should I do? Should I help these survivors? Uh oh. So, someone's coming up behind them. No. What? Oh my God! They don't even hear him. Turn around, guys. No. no. Guys, turn around. Turn around. Oh fuck. Oh. It's too late. No. Let's go. Leon, it's too late. See, I'm really curious. I read the back of the box, and it says that the C virus has become out of control and all this. But, like, I've never heard of the C virus. I don't remember the C virus from anything. Like, even the most recent Resident Evil Revelations was the T Abyss virus. Yeah. I feel like they're kind of coming up with just random things to keep the series going, well, which hopefully, I don't mind. And, yeah, that's fine, but hopefully they start explaining to me what the C virus is, because that's the one thing about Resident Evil that I was really always into was... The lore of like, well, yeah, you know, uh, Albert yeah. Wesker and Birkin and Spencer Oswald Spencer, you know, they were working at the, uh, you know, uh, the first game that mansion, you know, the Spencer estate. They were trying to come up with the T virus, and then you hear about the G virus that William Birkin and, and Annette Birkin were were creating, and then you know, Code Veronica, what they were doing with the Ashford family, and how it's all kind of tied into Umbrella, but there's yeah. different research parties coming up with these I, I like that backstory and i feel like i haven't gotten anything yet hopefully it's yeah. coming with the c virus like what does it stand for what does it mean like we even got that with the t abyss virus and how they were yeah, trying we to make it with a you know water creatures or whatever yeah i think we will uh oh. i haven't gotten far enough to really find out anything yet but, it, uh, it seems like Jake, so far, Ada has shown up a few times in Jake's scenario. And uh, she seems to kind of be a, a real, like, plot twist type of a device. Whenever Ada shows up, it's like she's going to spill some info that's giving you little bits and pieces of the story. 
Yeah, and, and uh, that definitely makes me kind of feel like Resident Evil 4, because she, whenever she appeared, it was like, oh, hello, Ada. Yeah. Hello, Ada. Well, hey, thanks for calling in, Last Cody. Hey, no problem, man. And uh, I will talk to you very shortly, I'm sure. Probably. <laughs> All right, have fun, man. All right, later. Later.